Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. It's currently minus 24 degrees Celsius. I expect it to hit minus 27. I've just pulled the car out of the garage a few minutes ago, so it still hasn't fully adjusted. You can see it's just gone to minus 25 degrees Celsius. Heating system on auto, as you can see, uh, so that we can get a really clear indication of what the uh, heat pump is doing, what the heat settings are, uh, and I'm just gonna leave it on automatic. What we're going to do is we're going to do my usual loop when I do these uh, type of uh, range tests. So I try to do the same loop every time to keep things consistent so I compare against previous results. At minus uh, 25, and I expect it, like I said, to go to about minus 27, this will be the coldest range test that I've done. It doesn't get much colder than this uh, where I live, so this is just an opportunity to do it. And we'll be able to compare it to some of my previous results at uh, lower temperatures. The other thing is that uh, I wanna see what happens with the heat. Am I gonna lose heat uh, during this test? It'll be interesting to see. My wife went out and did groceries this morning and she lost her heat in her Model Y. She has a 2021 Model Y. And um, so far I've had no issues with the heat in my Model Y, it's just been my, my wife's. So let's see what happens on this trip. And uh, as we get going, I'll chime in as necessary if something comes up that I want to comment about. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the energy meter, and then you guys can uh, watch and see what happens. We'll speed it up 20x, and uh, we'll come back, and we'll see what the results were after this drive and what the efficiency was at minus uh, 25, minus 27 Celsius. Let's get started. <sighs> All right, just an initial comment is leaving everything on auto right now i can tell you i am cooking i'm absolutely cooking it is really warm inside the car uh, i don't i'm waiting for the auto to dial it back a little bit or i'm going to have a heat stroke <laughs> so let's see what happens uh, this is the first time i guess i've driven in cold enough temperatures that on auto it um it just flicked to high you see that it says you know high here in the um on the display. So uh, normally that just displays the temperature when you're on auto. Oof, that's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take my sweater off and minus kajillion. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can get the energy graph up right there. We'll set it to this so we get a bigger view. The other thing I should mention before we get too far into it is that uh, I did preconditioned, preconditioned. <laughs> I did precondition the vehicle uh, for about 40 minutes before leaving, and it did sit in my garage overnight. My garage is not insulated, uh, so I think that's it for the parameters here. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll chime in if something interesting happens. Otherwise. Enjoy the drive.
All right, as we head back into town, let me give you some of my observations. So again, this is a 50 kilometer loop that I do. I do the same loop every time on this test. And I always drive about 10% over the speed limit uh, just so I can get a real world kind of uh, gauge of the energy consumption. Uh, let's face it, nobody drives exactly the speed limit. So, okay, uh, the first observation is it's incredibly hot in the vehicle right now. It's kind of like, you know that Jack Black movie, um, School of Rock, right? It, it's like, you know, the face melting guitar solo, only there's no guitar solo and the face melting is coming from the Tesla. Seriously, it is hot in here. So this is a change over um, the last time I did a cold weather test like this. It might be part of the cold weather improvements uh, over the last couple of weeks, maybe to deal with the uh, heat pump issue, although my wife lost heat this morning, as I mentioned. So uh, blistering hot. Um, I guess maybe it's the luck of the draw, depending on, you know, maybe when your Model Y was manufactured or whatever. I, I, I don't know why some cars are having the issue and some uh, aren't. But anyhow, um, the other observation I can tell you without looking at the data is that we used a crap ton of of energy on this trip <clears throat> i'm predicting excuse me i'm predicting that it's probably at least a 50 percent range loss um, but again let's pull over here and let's look at the data okay what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take it off of auto because i just i just can't take it it's it's just too hot in here <laughs> um yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but um, it seems that now when it reaches a certain temperature, when you're on auto and it's this cold, it's going to go too high. It's just going to blast everything at you. Um, if I wasn't doing this test, I would have just set it to manual uh, and not sweat my eyeballs off. So, okay, let's take a look at the data for the trip. Okay, so as I mentioned, it is a 50 kilometer uh, loop that I do. The duration was 41 minutes. The average energy use was 305 watt hours a kilometer. I'm back in the studio to do a little bit of math. We know that the Model Y has a rated range of 168 watt hour kilometer, which is 270 watt hour mile. Now we can do a little bit of math and we can come up with the efficiency as a percentage. So I'm just going to do the math in the metric system because <laughs> all you really care about is the end result with the efficiency. So the way the math works out is that it's about a 55% uh, efficient uh, trip that we just took at minus 27 degrees Celsius. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's a pretty good result for that type of extreme cold. So kudos to Tesla. I know that a lot of people are having issues with their heat pump right now, and I don't wanna diminish that. I guess I'm kind of lucky with my Model Y. I know my wife isn't lucky with hers. So uh, hopefully there's a solution and everybody is going to be happy in, in, in the end. Uh, in the meantime, I'm pretty pleased with that trip. Thanks for watching as always, Tesla Connect, over and out.